Next is the 3D glasses effect. This is actually an effect that's been in After Effects for several versions now. However, it's got a nice update in CS 5.5. For one, it is now a 32-bit floating point capable effect. Before, it was just an 8-bit effect. So it does make it much more useful if you do indeed want to render a single master tape from After Effects. You've got your normal pop-ups for the left and right view. The old convergence offset parameter in the old 3D glasses effect has now been renamed scene convergence. And again, this allows you to correct for poorly converged footage. This is not a problem with the Stereo 3D camera rig because you're doing your convergence up here in the Stereo 3D controls. However, if you've been given left, right footage from cameras, from other programs, you can use this to go ahead and converge things a bit better. I'll leave it at zero since the Stereo 3D controls is already converging properly. Vertical alignment has been added in 5.5. Again, footage you receive from others may have a vertical misalignment. You can now correct that in the After Effects 3D glasses effect. Units is a very handy pop up that they added. Pixels is just an absolute value measurement in After Effects. But it's not uncommon that you may need to take a project and scale it up. Maybe you started in standard def and now you need to do it in high def. Maybe you started with low res proxies, but now you need to do a 4K output. If you set all your values in pixels, you would need to recalculate those new pixel values when you had the larger compositions. By using a percentage of source, you can go ahead and scale up or resize the source compositions or source layers, and this plugin will automatically adjust accordingly. So it's good to leave it a percentage of source for now. Swap left, right is self-explanatory. Finally, we come to 3D view, and you'll set this based on either what glasses you're using while viewing After Effects, or what monitor you may be viewing this through. Indeed, a viewing strategy in After Effects is dragging this comp view to a second monitor output, perhaps a dedicated video card, and connecting that to a separate 3D monitor instead of using your computer's monitor. The options are the stereo pairs left, right, or over, under, interlacing, which is another common format a lot of stereo displays use, difference, which is a very handy diagnostic mode just to show you what's aligning and what's not aligning between the left and right views, and then the different 3D glass choices. Balanced, colored, red, blue does maintain accurate colors from your original composition. However, this can be prone to some ghosting, and even in this case, I am still seeing some slight ghosting around this gear. If eliminating ghosting is more important than the original colors, you can use something like the balanced but uncolored red-blue. That'll reduce the ghosting, tends to make the scene darker, tends to shift the colors, and then there's also straight up red, blue, or red, green, which does the tinting based on the luminance. You can see my luminance values have been maintained now, but again, I've got some ghosting around these gears. When you're using one of the balanced options, you do have the ability to offset some of the color balance that's going on to try to reduce ghosting and get back to your purer colors. However, if you really want to tweak this out, I would go to balanced colored red blue, which originally tries to keep the most accurate colors. And if you still have some ghosting, you may need to desaturate or color shift some of your source footage to get rid of that ghosting. In that case, the best way to work is to lock this composition's viewer so you will continue to see the stereoscopic view and keep your glasses on, but then click the timeline panel tab for your original comp so you can edit layers in the original comp but still view the final comp in your chain. This way, if I decide, say, that this frame has some color issues, I can go ahead and play around with its saturation, etc. The trick is, as I need to release the mouse first before that chain ripples through the left-right comps, then ripples to the final comp for me to view. So if I go ahead and change the hue a little bit, I need to release, then view the result. Maybe I want to shift the other direction, release, view the result. I'll go ahead and reduce its saturation a bit. This might cut down some of my ghosting issues. So that's how you manipulate the Stereo 3D controls and the 3D glasses effects in your Stereo 3D rig to help perfect your final stereoscopic output.